Well, my box plate is in such poor condition. I'm ripping it up real good, but I'm not moving anything anymore. I'll get it back, my top link off, a whole bunch in an attempt to uh, drop the back end down. This, this here is pulled up here. That's why I got to use a shovel, not every time, but quite often, to get the clay out of there, soil, whatever. And this is the back one. So, if I cut all this stuff off here, it'd make a great ripper, but that's not what it's supposed to be. So I'm going to get it back, the uh, top link off, pitch it a little bit more backwards, and see if I can move the soil instead of just ripping it up. See ya. Come on, you dumb thing. Well, my phone won't shut off. My hand's too sweaty. Come on, please. And I was trying to back it out to tip it backwards, but I ran out of top link since I only have my small one because my big large one got broken and it didn't get replaced, so I just got the small one here. Well, I'll get that threaded back in and see how well I can get it. Well, I got it backed off as much as I can without it falling apart. Top link, that is. Now all I'm doing is, this looks like a darn butter knife. Not moving hardly anything. If I was moving the kids were a burrow full, I'd be happy. It's a whole lot better than doing it by hand. Uh, Think about going ahead and taking the ripper teeth all the way out, turn them upside down like that one is. So I've got all the blade I can, but since it's all jacked up, I don't know if it's going to do anything. I'm going to try it a few more times. Then I'll take the ripper teeth out and turn them upside down like that one and see if that's any better. Fun stuff. Well, I jokingly turned around, then used the back side, and uh, I moved more with the front wheels than I did with the blade. I need still got to go down another foot. Oh no! Maybe I'll just go lift this thing up in the air and go back and forth with the tires, see if I can push stuff out of the way with the tractor tires. If not, I know how to drive a shovel. I've got a Class A shovel license. I'm not afraid to use it, but I don't want to. See ya. Well, I purposely didn't bring any lights with me. Because didn't want to work after dark, so I still got oh half hour decent daylight left. It's after nine already. I feel like I'm only about a foot down. But I gotta do a little by hand. Well, my little memory card just got full, so my video got shut off, so I erased some old ones. It's uh, after 9 now. 9.08.
Oh boy. Yeah, it's Tuesday, July 3rd. 9.08 p.m. And I got to get <laughs> about six inches down below right here. Oh, boy, that clay is some sticky stuff. I got to get down. It's supposed to rain. Well, it's supposed to rain today. You know weather, man. When my mom says, clouds don't watch the weather channel. I got to dig out a 10 foot piece there, a foot piece here, and about a four foot piece here. You can kind of see the little trench I got going over there from back in January, the heavy rains. Just to get it to head over there to the creek, the dry creek in the middle of the field. That leaves me for tomorrow, Thursday afternoon, to get this stuff out. That stuff here is going to move a lot easier. Oh, can't see nothing in here. Why well, don't I have a light on here? Where'd the light go? No light today. I guess that's how dark it is. few more minutes of work over here and then I'll have to head home to just got the tractor over here I'm gonna check my cooler see how many waters I got left I gotta have that low enough so this is low enough don't want to raise the height to the barn I'll get it figured out one day Someday I'll reach full consciousness. Can only hope. See ya.